Okay, so chapter 23, section B, we're now talking more about probability distributions. Um, if x is a random variable, okay, so we're just going to talk about this blue box um, on page 610 and decode the mathematical speak that's there. If x is a random variable, so that's we're keeping track of the number of things we're looking for. For example, um, in the previous video, we were looking at... Uh, heads uh, when roll, when tossing two coins. So if random x is a random variable with sample space, so this is the possible outcomes. Remember sample space represents all the possible outcomes. So this is what could possibly happen. And corresponding probabilities, so p1, p2, p3. So the sample space, the possible outcome of x1, the probability of that happening is p1. The possible outcome x2, probability of that happening is p2, and so on. So that the probability that the random variable x is equal to xi is actually equal to pi. Okay, so just like I already said, the probability that x is this, is this probability. The probability that x is this, x2, is the probability p2. Where i represents 1, 2, 3, all the way up to n then these three things are true. Zero is less than or equal to pi is less than or equal to one for all i equals one to n. What does this actually mean? This means what we talked about before. Every single probability has to be between zero and one. This is all that means. Each probability has to be between zero and one. Next point. Remember this notation. The sum of all pi's starting when i is equal to 1 and ending when i is equal to n is equal to pi p1 plus p2 plus p3 all the way up to pn so we started at 1 like it says here we ended at pn where like it says here it has to equal 1 in other words like we've said before the second rule all of the probabilities added up together have to equal 1 and thirdly um, this set of probabilities describes the probability distribution of x. So this means the set of those curly brackets, just like these curly brackets up here mean the set of, these curly brackets mean the set of. The set of probabilities describes the probability distribution of x. And we drew that in the video 23a, we drew that with the uh, table at the end of the video. Okay, now, notation-wise, we need to make sure we know that the different notations mean different things. So be careful about what the question is asking. Probability that x is equal to 3. Okay, so we're not looking for anything except the possible outcomes that led to the random variable x being 3, counting 3 things. Here, though, probability that x is less than 3. Well, if the probabilities go all the way back to zero, then we're looking for zero, we're looking for one, we're looking for two, we're not looking for three because it's not equal to three, it's less than three. But here, if the probability of random variable x is less than or equal to three, then we are looking for zero, one, two, or three, and we'll have to add all, the, uh, add all of those probabilities up. Greater than three, we're not going to use three, we're going to start at four and go as high as it goes. Greater than or equal to 3, this time we'll start at 3 and go as high as it goes. Add all those together. If we're finding the probability 3 less than x less than 7, we're looking in between 3 and 7. And this is discrete random variables, so therefore we're looking for x to be 4, 5, or 6 only. Add up those probabilities. Whereas here, probability 3 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 7, we're looking for probability of x being 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Add up all of those. So just be careful about your less than or zero equals then. Here we're looking for 3 less than x, less than or equal to 7. So we're looking for 4, 5, 6, 7. Here we're looking for 3 less than or equal to x, less than 7. So we're looking for 3, 4, 5, 6. So just be careful about what the question is actually asking. Be careful about your notation. Your next video will be example 2.